Hello, everyone. 702. You know what? I hope you use those two minutes to do whatever the heck you <laughs> wanted to do until we got on tonight. <laughs> I am uh, I'm Jeanette. I am the crazy, inventive book lover of my BC Consulting. And way back when, when I decided this is something I can do is to help authors. And what's really cool is when I know the author ahead of time, and she's very um, integral in making other people successful with her books and with herself. So this is so exciting because you know what's interesting, Diane? Yeah. Again, you're one of these people that I've never met you in person. <laughs> But this, do you feel like you know me? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Through our talks with the Gratitude and Appreciation Summit to, you know, zooming in on your five day at the end of the year um, reset. Um, I do. I feel like we're, we've known each other forever and ever and ever. And also through yeah. reading your amazing books. So Thank welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And to, hello to everyone who's watching. So tonight it's, it, I say it's kind of a casual, fun conversation because this is for, you know, that phrase that everybody says, everybody's got a book in them. Which one? They do. Every, everybody's got a book in them. Yeah. And, and we have to hear the stories connected to how people have either written their book or in the process of writing their book so they can pull it out of themselves. And what better way to bring the mentors on in life that have taken typing to keyboard or pen to paper. So let's share a bit of the journey that you took in writing five books. Yeah. And, you know, there's um, being published five times and being an author five times is, is doable. And what I want to make sure that people that are watching today really understand is that there are processes to break this down and make it easy. There are um, people that you can join to make the writing of your story easier, or at least to get your foot in the door. But before you do a book, you have to ask yourself, what is the purpose of this book? Okay. What is my intention for writing this book? Why do I need to get this out there? And then you can devise a plan as to, do I need to be traditionally published? Do, will I self-publish? Will I have my own book? Will I be part of someone else's book? Will I give the book away? Will the book be for free? There are so many options, but I want to provide today just a few ideas of how I did my books so that people can be like, okay, that's, that's doable. That's totally doable. And um, oftentimes, you know, people are like, I'm doing it and I'm excited about it. I'm just not, I'm not doing it. I'm procrastinating. And that's totally where I was. Ah. In the beginning. Yeah. So I've, you know, I, uh, when I put the fifth book out or when the I was in the fifth book, um, someone said, wow, congratulations, Diane. And I count my success of putting my book out to you because uh, she was coaching with me. She had been trying to write a book for years and didn't do it and hired me and she got it done very quickly. And so there's a few people I've coached to do their book, though I am not a publisher. Sometimes people want to refer okay. me as a publisher. I'm not a publisher. Um, but if it's mindset or strategy or whatever it may be in getting the book done, um, it's doable, right? It's, it's totally yeah. doable. Um, and not all of us are meant to be what I kind of call a traditional author, like an author mm -hmm. who wants to write a whole series of books and in um, fiction or who wants to write nonfiction books as part of research theses, mm -hmm. you know, like okay. this sort of, of writing of books. There can be different types of authors. So I can, I can, I can tell how I did the first one because that was Please a whirlwind. Again. <laughs> so the, I'm in the pro, I'm in the process of writing my first book. I've got one book that's on my my vision board that says yeah. September the 30th, you know, 2021, the name of the book and stuff. And it's almost feels daunting because I know oh, what I want to yes. say in there. Yeah. So I've backed it out and I've got a smaller book that I've got an idea for. So I think I'm, I'm so happy to have you on tonight because I can so tell there's a progression um, to, to, to the greatness, to that well, end. And, and let me just do a quick run through the books to let people kind of know the, okay. the steps. So this was the first book. This is Dynamic You. I self-published this book. I wrote it myself, but I didn't actually write it. I didn't type it. Oh. I didn't write it by hand. 
I'll talk about how I did that one. Second book right. I was in was a collaborative book with many other authors. So you've seen these before, right? So I was in someone else's collaborative book, invited to be part of that. It's called Live Your Passion. So I had a Can we just pause there. there for a second? Yeah. How did you get invited to that book? So it was, it was, I was connected with someone and I ended up working with them. And as part of the, yeah, them knowing me and wanting, they put out books and they wanted to put me in one of the books. I think this is though the last one that they've done. Um, I have oh. to look into that and double check. Then I realized, wow, wow, I have such a platform because I'm a speaker. So I go and speak to 10 to 10,000 people. I have the ability to carry stories with me. I often share stories of clients, share stories of women from my Dynamic Women Global Club on stage. So you can imagine I'm sharing these inspiring stories of these women. And I thought, I'm just sharing them verbally, but the audience isn't able to kind of carry the stories with them. And I'm meeting so many women that are like, like you, where you're like, I want to write a book, but I'm not quite ready or that seems daunting or I don't have the time or I don't have a need for it. So that's when I put out the first dynamic women book, which you have, yes, which was part of um, the swag bag for gratitude and appreciation summit. So that was, and really why is that? Why was it part of it? Could it be one of the co-founders? Co-founder, Kathy Faster. Yes, yes, yes. And her piece in here is around gratitude and appreciation. And so I thought, wow, 50, I can carry and share the stories of 52 women with me. So when I go to a talk and the organization or the company buys these for, their, for the people in the audience, I get to share these stories. When I'm on stage and I mention uh, Kathy's story or... Um, Denise's story, whoever's story, then people can can buy the book and read the story and get the personal development. So it's like a double win. It's a win for the authors because they're sharing about who they are, but it's also a win for the audience because I'm teaching, I teach them how to consume the book in a way that will be um, great for productivity, great for time um, you know, to be able to fit it in easily, but also to get the most out of the contents of the book. So I send, um, that was the, the first one that was so amazing. Um, and so it's part of the Dynamic Women series. And then I write a piece in the beginning, which is more like a mini book. So the piece in the beginning here was called Key to Success. So it's the three dangerous trends that women face that keep them overwhelmed, overworked, and pulled in a million directions. And it's kind of like a workbook, because this is like, from a program that I teach. Yeah. So, you know, that's that. And then just this year, 2020 December, we put out confidence secrets. So dynamic women success secrets, dynamic women confidence secrets. And we had another wide assortment of amazing women telling their stories and secrets on how to be confident. And so, you know, people come at it from different directions. They're different ages, they're in different industries. And it's so important that we have that variety of influence, persuasion, and ideas, right? Tools and tips to yeah. use. So um, really excited with these two, my most favorite part, when we had the two launch parties, so one in Ontario and one in BC, because I work with women all over the country, um, when we had the launch party and the women had their books and they were signing them, not signing, the word should be autographing when they were yes. autographing the books they were like wow diane it's it's real it's real like i'm in a real book i'm an author and the other thing is you know there are a lot of collaborative books out there and that's wonderful and people are getting published but the key thing is do you have a strategy to being in it do you have a strategy to the okay. piece that you write in it and you have a strategy for what to do with the book afterwards to reach your personal and professional goals. That's the difference in what I teach. Because when I jumped into this book, I realized I'm not just writing whatever I want about passion. I'm writing something in this book that will boomerang clients back to me. That will boomerang people back to my Dynamic Women community or podcast. That will boomerang back to me opportunities to speak. Because I can talk at home by myself, but I'm not going to help more people. So right. 
being in the book is a strategy, but also the connection with the other authors is a strategy. So that's a little bit of the difference between what I do with my clients, because it's not just be an author, it's be an author and what else gotcha. can you do with this? So this is what I call a dynamic goal. A dynamic goal is when you do one thing, but it satisfies multiple goals, right? So a book, right. a book for me, a book is a high level premium business card. A book is- Wow, that, that is a fascinating way because I often say that a business card is a gift. It's a gift of intent. When yep. you've networked and you've asked, you know, I'm famous for my W5 questions, that who are you? What do you do? When do you do it? Why do you do it? Where do you do it? Like getting those yeah. questions and it's like, wow, may I have your business card? Cause I want to know more. I want to know more about you. And on that information and that good information that's on that card. Wow. I wouldn't have tagged so, that book as a business card analogy high high level one so uh, let me give you an example of and this is just one of many strategies that i teach so i just happen to have these in my purse always networking always so i'm at an event i'm actually speaking at the event so it's good that i had my book already um but this has happened twice so let's look at the one where i was just attending and I actually sometimes will stick my book on the table and who's that? Me, right? So people go, oh, you wrote a book. Yes, I did, right? And then it starts a conversation. I often sell, okay, now I'm giving you two tips. I often sell enough books at an event to pay for the event. So I put the books out on the table, not a big stack, one of each on the table with my business cards and such. And people go, oh, that's your book. Oh yeah. And then I talk about what my book's about. Not elevator pitch, here's me, but this is what the book is about. Oh, wow. Where can I get a copy? Well, actually, I'd be happy to autograph this one for you. And then the $20 is exchanged, right? Yeah. And I take their business card so I can do a follow-up with them. Um, but I often, like if I go to a networking event where you pay for a lunch, you know, I sell five books, I paid for my $100 ticket amazing but let's go back to the other one where i'm i'm there and i'm speaking with someone and they say well you're a speaker and and i know that you know do this and i'd love to have you come or i've been thinking about hiring a coach for for me and leading in you know, my business or in my professional life i'm trying to get a promotion or whatever it may be and i'm like well actually i have a i have something that i would love to gift to you and i imagine you pull out and it's a purse because i'm a girl I'm pulling out my purse, a book. And I said, this is about this. So dynamic you kind of like, kind of like um, the seven habits of highly effective people. Right. This is the nine pillars of being a dynamic woman. And I go, I would love to gift this to you. If you're serious about coaching, I'd love to gift this to you. And I open up the front and I say, and I look at their name tag and I said, so that's how you spell Jeanette. Great. And I pull out my marker. I always have a very special marker um handy always have a colored sharpie handy and and i said can i sign it to you can i personalize it to you and then write a little message and then i also have very special bookmarks that i have made and i pop it in the front and i present it to them always products should be held with reverence mm. not here's my book yeah here's my book it's here's my book Pre right here's my book Kind of like uh, I learned when I was in Japan in passing of business cards, right. you pass right. with reverence, right? You hold it with reverence. And if you are an author, you hold your book with reverence because this is your stories, your ideas, your experience, whatever it may be. So there's, there's one little tip. This is, this is an amazing premium business card, but there are like 20 amazing things that you can do with a book, right? So many things. I, um, I sell them back of room. I use them as continuing educational materials when I do talks. Mm -hmm. I gift them to clients when they start working with me. Um, this is actually a program in a book. 
So this is part of the Dynamic U program. They get a book because some, some people like to watch a video, some people like to listen to it, and some people like to read it. So That's we're getting right. all, all the different, all the different modalities, exactly. And so um, I don't know if you want me to stop there because I realized, oh, I didn't talk well, about the fifth book. There's, there's so much to uh, unpack there of value in it, in and itself. Um, like it, I'm just blown away by that whole book card analogy. I have to, I have to say, but the reverence and the gift within that, that giving the book as that business card, because I know that's happened to me and I almost feel right now going, wow, wow. I really didn't treat that gift well, or when I did get that book and I really read it and how it was delivered to me in that exchange, I immediately wanted to go home and I read it and I, you know, marked it up. So, wow, that's, that's beautiful. It's that one step. It's that difference. I have a, a friend, Scotty Schindler, who's in Australian and he talks about that, that one thing that you do different yeah. and there's other people that go, yeah, you want my course? Yeah. I've written a book, but here's my card. Give me a call and we'll, you know, book you in, but to know, and that must take a special skill set, Diane, that you would teach that you're going to release that book to that person, knowing that it's going to either lead somewhere or you've keyed into the person to go, you know what, this is a good investment for myself to give a piece of my worth over to somebody else that they're going to see value in that as well. Because as a business owner, you just can't be willy nilly giving stuff away. There's got to be some, um, some great um, yeah. outcome connected to it. Yeah. Well, I think you can tell when someone is, is more of a hot lead um, or really serious about it. You know, uh, for the one time it was hey Diane, we're thinking of having you for our women's international day event. Um, you know, would that be something you'd like to do? I'm like, yes. This is when I was speaking at another event. And I said, actually, why don't I give you a copy of my book? Because I'll talk about unleashing your dynamic you. You can get a sense of what I will talk about, what I will talk about, because I'm already securing in my word yeah. that I'll be there. And how many other people in your office? I'd love to send you more books to your office. Mm. So you're also helping them think about they're going to get the book and even serving them one more spot is so i'm just envisioning me receiving the book and i'm putting the event on it's like this is the topic we're going to pick a perfect place in the agenda based upon the book's information so you look like a superstar to honor the gift that you've given them yep. to know the topic so you're not just kind of oh yeah we want you to speak in wherever you're going to be you're going to be mm -hmm. so think even thinking that much further that power of that book and that message as that gift like you've been almost to the top of the pile like you'd almost be one of the the headliners of of opening because of the back work you did to yes. get to where you wanted to go yeah yeah exactly and there's so many i'm self-managing because i know we have a limited amount of time but i have so many other strategies on even like why did i put my face on the book is it because i love myself nope there are many reasons for why it's on here um also the specific wording that I used on the book, right? There's so many different pieces to it that have been done strategically in order to really serve, serve whoever is receiving it, but also build connection and build, you know, strategy in my business. So there is a, there is a method to everything. And that's why I say you need to have an intention of why am I putting out this book? Is it to attract clients? Is it to get speaking gigs? Is it to make lots of money? Is it to become an author over and over and over again? Is it to get like, I want a publishing deal. There are so many reasons to have it. And that is only kind of the top few that people mention, but there are so many other other reasons to have it you know for the ladies that are in these books this is an opportunity for them to say i'm a published author that's a given that's happening but that's their opportunity to say i was in a book which elevates their status it also gives them another income stream especially with covid we were losing income streams right it's an additional income stream um, and there are so many other things that they can do with it, but it's also well, the confidence. 
they're hanging out with some pretty amazing ladies, I gotta say, on the back of the book. And what I appreciate about your books, I have also the confidence um, secrets as well, because yeah, that one as well, is when you talk about these stories on 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 stage, the different people, yeah. even if that person is in the audience listening and you're sharing their story, it means I get to pay attention to you knowing I'm going to have it backed up here instead of being that consummate note taker at an event. Hey, it's better. I pay attention because you know what? I'm, I'm going to be yes. able to pick the book up afterwards yeah. and relive it in its wholeness yeah. um, versus going, Oh my gosh, she just said a secret, uh, you know, secret number 21. I better write that down. I better write that down, but being present for the delivery yeah knowing I can come back to the book afterwards exactly. and relearn the story. Exactly. And, and you know, the thing, of, the thing about, like the, tiny nuggets. yeah. And the thing about um, the collaborative books that I put out, I put out one a year is mm. that, you know, it's not just anyone can be part of it. I have to, to okay. vet to make sure people are, you know, have, have good secrets and stories to share, but it's basically, I teach you what to do. I give you a strategy of how um how you can use this best in your business you submit your words done it's done right we take mm -hmm. care of the editing the formatting the design work the layout the publishing like we take care of everything you just go i want this many books and order them at wholesale and that's important for me that people mm -hmm. order authors get to order at wholesale so that they can make money off of every book they sell 15 to 20 to 25 dollars per book they can make right, right. And, and that helps when you're when when you're thinking about how am i going to bring in a little bit of extra money or to kind of maybe a lot of extra money, right? When I go and speak, I had my one event that didn't actually, didn't have the budget to pay me as much as I, as I normally get, um, but they were flying me in. They were, you know, paying for everything, hotel, car, like everything, and my paying most of my fee. And they got a sponsor to buy a hundred copies of my book beautiful to give to all of the guests. So the difference in what I was going to make to my actual, what I normally get was covered in the selling of the book. So and they're getting in front of a hundred people exactly. automatically. Exactly. And how, how amazing for everyone in the audience. And of course there's, there are some things that you should do when someone sponsors, I did a whole bunch of things as a thank you. It was not requested of me, but I really want to, to give value to whoever's going to do that. That was an amazing gesture that they made. Um, but just, but let me just jump in quickly. This is the pursuit 365. Okay. Yeah. All I've heard of writing. that book. I've seen it all over social yes, media. Really Love it. Great job marketing this. It's beautiful. It's color. So it, it is a fabulous, uh, Shelly Lynn Hughes put this together um, with the help of her team and uh, Pursuit 365 is 365 stories. And the cool thing is Shelly has been in both of my books. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so now I get to be in hers. Um, so, you know, that's always fantastic. And the excitement of it all is, is so so great it's that you know moment everyone gets to be be a published author and and that even for me the fifth time around it was still like you know like let me well, if you were the, the that christmas song you'd be getting your five golden rings right now yes Just exactly in. yeah but i do want to be real about it that i sat on my book idea like you are yeah. i sat on it for a probably a year and a half okay Everyone kept saying to me, Diane, you talk about Dynamic Women Global Club. You talk about Dynamic Women Podcast. You present about being a dynamic woman. What is it? Like, what is it? And so I thought, okay, I got to, and I really did some research from working with my clients, from working, um, from speaking on stages and talking to the audiences afterwards and all the different places and all the different women. And I really pieced it together to be those nine pillars. So I had my beautiful outline to my book all i had to do was sit and write it do you think i could do it 
No, I was not enthused at all. Well, I kind of had the fire lit under my butt because I had a speaking gig in Washington. And I said to them, you know what? I'll come down there and speak for free if you buy enough copies of my book for everyone attending. Oh, I just got chill bumps because that's, that's a big put it out there. And you know what they said? That is so generous of you, Diane, because it was me competing against others. And uh, right. that's so amazing because they were filling an arena with people, with female business owners, one of my main target markets, right? And I was like, okay, cool. And um, they're like, great, just give us the link to the book and we'll order it now. And I was like, oh. uh, okay, how about this? I'm actually just, I've pulled it from Amazon because I'm editing it right now. But as soon as I'm done re-editing it, I will give you the link and you can purchase it. So I get off the phone. And I'm like, crap, I need to have a book written and in their hands in 90 days. What am I going to so, do? You're going to light a fire under your butt. I'm going to light a fire under my butt. But... I did not write it by typing. I did not write it by hand. I did not have a ghostwriter. I spoke my book. Ah, there's a good tip today. But I took it in even a step further. As I mentioned, Dynamic U is a program. So my programs range from $200 to $5,000. I created a program so I got paid to write my book, mm. to pull through it. You see where I'm going here? Yep, so yep. There's a lot, there's a lot of strategy to this. A lot of like tools that I use to make this efficient. A lot of um, really great people that I brought on board, but as contractors so that the, the expense of putting the book together was very minimal. And mm -hmm. So now the women who took the course are in the book. So that's their bios in the back. And as we went through the program and people keep saying, wow, Diane, it's like you're speaking to me. Well, I actually was speaking to people. <laughs> um, yes. I was speaking, right? They're the people who were, who were in the book were actual clients of mine. So as you go through this book, you're like taking the program with us together with this group of women, the first graduating class of the Dynamic U program. Since then, I've run this program multiple times, um, dozens of times, I should say. And I've done it for my clients. I've done it for associations. I've done it for companies. I've been brought into companies to do it. Um, and I've run this like eight week program many, many times now. And the book has been part of it. So not only was I paid to write the book, I was also paid to, um, I was paid for the book before I even had the book. <laughs> and then I continue to be paid for the book from Amazon sales or from people buying it from me for the program. Though I always say, this is not a book to bring on a plane to read that you think on your eight hour flight, you'll finish it. It's not a book to bring to the cottage because the idea is this is a program in a book. It's every week you do right. one pillar where this one is a wonderful bite by bite. This one, a wonderful little bites, you know, each time. But they call this one the beach read. <laughs> the beach read book where you tuck it into your beach bag um and be able to take it with you wow Diane, well, yeah. this has been amazing yeah well i get excited about talking about it the main thing is i never thought i could write a book i didn't know how to do it and now i know every single step of the process and um just breaking it down now is so easy and that's kind of the thing i love to do is be a trailblazer i know um how to get from point a to point b in the most efficient way possible. And I love breaking that down into really simple steps to share with others. I just get really excited about that. You know what? I think that's the perfect place to leave this. Knowing the structure, 
uh, of how to write the book. We're going to make sure that afterwards when this uploads, I'll go into the comments. And if there was any comments that happened tonight, unfortunately, I, I don't have somebody monitoring my, my comments. Yeah, uh, Diana, I'm sure she'll come back and answer and take a look within the yes. feed. Or if you're watching this on the replay, um, throw the comments into the uh, into the comment part. You throw your throw your questions into the comment part. Yeah. We'll make sure that Diane comes back and answers them. And also the link to um, uh, say to your website is that okay that we put that in the in the chat? Yeah, you and you know what? I'm going to go even a step further, Jeanette, because yeah. you've invited me here and you attract really great people. Uh, and you're doing this out of the goodness of your heart, I would love to actually give my personal email. If anyone would, oh, okay. would like to talk about, yeah, we can give the links to the books and everything, but if anyone would like to talk about, they're in that place of like, I think I have a story, but I don't know. If anyone wants to talk about that, they can reach out to me personally with my email, diane at dianerolston.com. And I'm happy to have a you know 15 minute conversation with people just to see, is this the right thing? What's the intention? What's the strategy? Okay. How can you easily do it? Sounds like you and I need to have one of those talks too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes. There's there's a few books in this head. It's um, I often say it's kind of fun playing on this hamster wheel um, in my head. Well, thank you so much, Diane. It's guys, 2020 in, in in my world is the is the the year of what can I do? What can I do is a Tuesday night bringing on authors, putting their books, uh, Success Secrets. Um, Kathy Fester, of course, is the Gratitude and Appreciation co-founder like myself. Her book is on my website. The, so you can go on and grab her book. Um, I really believe that this year is the year of honoring creativity, being the steward of somebody else's creativity, and what can we do together in order to make this world um, a better place. And I am so appreciative of our friendship. Our, I'm going to call it our virtual friendship. So I'm sending you a virtual hug tonight. And uh, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Um, and Diane, believe it or not, I have till the end of July authors every Tuesday night. So uh, we're going to be doing some serious educating um, about what it takes to write a book or the books that are out there. That's so, so thank you for offering this platform. And I do see that there are some questions from Kathy. And so uh, I, I can jump uh, off of here and, and go answer those. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, Enjoy. Everybody, Bye. grab a good book. <laughs> Bye. Bye.